These are direct quotes from the Sovereign Borders Bill. I'm going to play Pretty Patel and my partner here is going to do translations by a Tory supporter. The UK has a proud history of being open to the world. Global Britain will continue in that tradition. We're always open for business. Expropriation is our second name. They give, we take. Our society is enriched by legal immigration. We are a better country for it. Using our current definition, nearly all refugees came to Britain illegally, but uh, let's not dwell on that. We recognise the contribution of those who have come to the UK lawfully and helped build our public services, businesses, culture and communities. And we always will. Admittedly, the Windrush thing was a bit of a fiasco, but mistakes happen. Generally, we like people who make money for us. We also take pride in fulfilling our moral responsibility to support refugees fleeing peril around the world. Of course, it does depend on where you're from. We like to send back those from Zimbabwe and Nigeria, but we don't want to compromise any of our arms deals with the Saudis, Israelis or anyone else. Since 2015, we have resettled almost 25,000 men, women and children seeking refuge from cruel circumstances across the world, more than any other European country. We also deported hundreds of Afghanis and others who came here as children trying to get away from the wars we were waging. No idea what happened to them when they got back. It's not our problem. We continue to play our part as the third highest contributor of overseas development aid in the world. Actually, we slashed the aid budget by about four billion, even though some pesky members of our own party tried to get in the way of our plans. This government promised to regain sovereignty and we have made immigration and asylum policy a priority. We've taken back control of our legal immigration system by ending free movement and introducing a new points-based immigration system. To hell with human rights now we've left the EU. Let them drown. We don't want the lifeboat service running migrant taxi. The UK now decides who comes to our country based on the skills people have to offer, not where their passport is from. Really, we just want them to pay. Lots and lots of money. And the NHS does need a bit of help. We don't mind poaching other countries' best workers. And anyway, we can always get rid of them later, even when they've been here for decades. We will continue to encourage asylum via safe and legal routes, strengthening our support by offering an enhanced integration package to those arriving in this manner and immediate indefinite leave to remain in the UK for resettled refugees. It just so happens that we've closed down all the safe and legal routes after leaving the EU, but we can blame France for that. And any Afghans fleeing the Taliban who didn't get on a safe flight out will have to join the queue in Calais if they get that far. The use of hotels to accommodate arrivals will end and we will bring forward plans to expand the government's asylum estate to accommodate and process asylum seekers, including those for return to a safe country. And if somehow they manage to sneak past all our controls, we'll make sure they are destitute and try to get rid of them as fast as possible. Failing that, we'll lock them up indefinitely, possibly on special prison boats if we can manage it. And please stop going on about torture. This government promised to take a common sense approach to controlling immigration, both legal and illegal. And we will deliver on that promise. I have more power than I ever dreamed of, and I really enjoy using it. You ain't seen nothing yet. 